Hi, it's Joy Olson of Blockbuster Fundraising here on the Countdown to Fundraising 2016. Today we have 85 days left in 2016 to fundraise, and this week we are concentrating, focusing on what you can do in these last three months for major gifts. So let's get started. During the week, we have referred to some of the great thought leaders in major gifts, and I want to go back to Roy Jones and Andrew Olson's major gift book, Rainmaking, The Fundraiser's Guide to Landing Big Gifts. It really is excellent, and uh, I want to review a few things that I think will be so helpful to you in this book. So how do you build and cultivate trust with major donors because they're wealthy people and they can spot people wanting money from them a mile away. So let's look at some steps that Olson and Jones point out in their book that will lead the way. You want these major gift note donors to know that you honestly and truly value your relationship with them because of who they are not because of the number of zeros in their account. So how do you show this in tangible ways? Step number one, and you've heard it before, practice active listening. Go back and refer to everything that we've taught you about active listening and hone in those skills. Second step, pour yourself into the relationship serving your major donor at every opportunity. And you want to be honest and transparent in all your interactions. That is imperative. As you're building this relationship, this wonderful relationship with a major donor, you want to not only seek to hear, but you want to understand and empathize with the things that they share with you the stories that they tell you. It's very important to the relationship that you do and that you remember what they tell you. And as you're building this relationship, remember that it is not about you. They look forward to hearing from you, but this relationship is about your donor and helping your donor to accomplish great things with their wealth. You're simply there to help make this possible for your major donor. And last, but certainly not least, if something goes wrong, you have to notify your major donor immediately and provide solution options. This is so important. I had the unfortunate experience, my last big development position, I came in at a turnaround situation and had to notify major donors that the new building that we expected to have that they had donated to was not going to happen. And I'll tell you, it's just like being a stockbroker. When things are good, call. When things are bad, call immediately. You know, in their book, they mention that you're not just a fundraiser with major donors. You're really a matchmaker. You take compassionate, caring people and you match them up with a worthy, successful program to create a philanthropic partnership that really helps improve the community. So tomorrow, we're going to look at 13 ways that you can engage and deepen the major gift relationship. Well, I hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend. And to all of our friends out on the East Coast, we are really thinking about you uh, during this, uh, this storm weekend and are hoping for your safety. Remember, you can find out more about Blockbuster Fundraising at blockbusterfundraising.com. We're very active on Facebook, and we have a really good YouTube channel with that houses all of our daily tips and our Facebook Lives and our other videos. So come check us out and see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.